Good morning, friends. I hope you had a wonderful weekend with your family. Guess what? We are headed towards the end of school. Can you believe it? Oh my goodness. It's almost the last week of school. For early learning program, we only have like a week and a half. We get out of school on the 28th. May 28th is our last day of school. Ah, I can't believe it. The year went by so fast. My friends, today is Monday, May 18th, 2020. And the weather today, it's gonna be 71 degrees, but we're supposed to have some thunderstorms and lightning and rain. So it's probably not gonna be a good day to get outside and play. So you're gonna to have to do some in inside activities. The project that we have going on this week is gonna be creating a memory book. And I know you probably have memory books at home with your family and pictures of friends and all your stuff that you do at home. But what we're gonna be working on this week is a memory book that we can put together for our class and for the school year. That's what we're working on. So my friends, go ahead and turn on your brain. And we gotta do our counting. And then we're gonna switch right into reading our book. Get it? Got it. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, whoo, seventeen. Good job, friends. Well, we're gonna transition right into our story time this morning. The story I have for you today is called Clark the Shark Dares to Share. Now in our class, sharing is caring. So this goes right with our class. Perfect. It was written by Bruce Hale and the pictures were drawn by Guy Francis. I think it's about a shark. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Clark the shark loved school. He loved his teacher and he loved learning, just like we do in class. But sometimes Clark got a little mixed up. One marvelous morning, Mrs. Inkdink told Clark's class, time for show and, sh show and share. Ooh, everyone in the class looks very excited about that. That's Mrs. Inkydink. And I believe that's Clark the Shark. Show and share. I guess that's kind of like show and tell. Hmm. Benny Blowfish went first. He played a song so sweet and sassy that Clark couldn't help but dance. His funky shark dance with a hip and a hop and a skiddly wop. Sit down, please, Mrs. Inky Dink said. But I was sharing too, said, shark, said Clark the shark. Sharing is caring, said Mrs. Inky Dink, and everyone must learn to wait their turn. I get it, said Clark, but he didn't really. There he is dancing. At Reading Roundup, Amanda Eelwiggle won a scrumptious prize for reading the most books. Sea slug ice cream, asked Clark. Yum, yum. I want some. Uh, that's up to Amanda, said Mrs. Inkydink. But sharing is caring, cried Clark. Mrs. Inkydink nodded. Yes, I'm aware, but the giver chooses when to share. Sharing is confusing, said Clark. In reef hockey, Clark chose to share his spectacular skills. Hockey is awesome! He roared Clark. Front faked and back faked, he stick checked and decked. Ooh, that's some fancy stick work for Clark the shark. In the end, Clark did everything but pass the puck. His teammates were cranky. 
Hey, hot shot, let somebody else score, why don't you? Says his best friend, Joey Mackerel. But we all share the win, said Clark. Coach Krabby scowled. A win's not okay unless we all get to play. Sharing is complicated, said Clark. <laughs> is it hard for you to share sometimes? It is. After school, Clark and Joey Mackerel played Sea Wars at Joey's house. Wow, is the it's is that dark va dark waiter? asked Clark. Best birthday present ever, said Joey. Want to play with Fluke Seawalker? Clark really wanted Dark Waiter, but Joey asked him to wait his turn. Then when Joey went to get some, get them a snack, Clark couldn't resist. Must be my turn, must. It was, after all, the coolest toy ever. Sea Wars rocks, cried Clark. Pow, bam, crunch. Oops, oh no. Look what happened right here. What happened? Oh, Clark broke Dark Waiter. Clark cried, Joey, you broke it. Sorry, said Clark. I was, I was sharing? Joey shook his head. That's not sharing, he said. That's taking and breaking. Clark the shark swam home befuddled and bewildered. He didn't understand sharing at all. I don't think someone has taught him what sharing is all about. And when he arrived, Clark found he wasn't the only one who didn't get it. Mom cried, Clark, my cap. He borrowed it, he bit it, and now it's ruined. Oh man, Clark is gonna get in some deep trouble. Teething or no teething, Clark's mother said, that's no way to treat a cap. She told his brother to ask before borrowing, but she told Clark, you have heaps of caps, and if you have a lot, why not share a lot? But Clark didn't want to hear it. He swam to his room and sulked up a storm. Oh boy, he was having a pity party. When you get upset, do you throw a temper tantrum sometimes? I do. I go like this. <laughs> That's probably not the right thing to do. Hmm. I need to learn what I have to do. Let's see. Sharing is caring, Clark grumbled. It's not taking and breaking, but this only reminded him of what he had done at Joey's house. Clark's head hurt and... If a big sharky thought was trying to break free. So sharing is waiting your turn, letting everyone play. The giver chooses when, not taking and breaking, and giving what you've got a lot of. Sharing was so confusing for Clark. But I also must try. I've got to try to share. Mom asked, will you help me bake something? You think he's gonna help mommy? Let's see. The next day, Clark gave Joey a home-baked krill cake and a great big sharky apology. I think I'll share this with the whole class, said Joey. Really, said Clark. Really, said Joey. And when Amanda Eelwiggle saw all the cake being cut up, she said, you know what goes well with krill cake? No, what, said Clark. Sea slug ice cream. And just like that, she scooped her treat onto everyone's plate. Well, that was sure nice. Remember, sharing is caring. Clark the shark looked around at all of his classmates enjoying cake and ice cream, and he got a warm, wiggly feeling way down deep inside. What is it, Clark? Asked Mrs. Inky Dink. When you do something nice, it kind of makes you feel good too, right? With a ginormous grin, Clark broke into the funkiest, sharkiest, funky shark dance ever. 
and this time all his classmates joined him with a hip and hop and a skiddly wop. That's when it was time to dance. Sharing is sweet, cried Clark the shark. I think he finally learned his lesson about sharing. Clark the shark dares to share. That was our story for today. Friends, don't forget to do your packet pages, your seesaw activities and assessments, and start working on your family project, our class memory book. I love you. Have a blessed day.